Hey there, I am Alex Yusuf from Doc365 and today we are going to talk about how to create a page in SharePoint Online. This is the best way to share ideas and information with your team. To do this, you will have to go to your SharePoint site first. Now we are going to add a page to the site DM Brainstorming. Click on the new option to the site and choose page. Choose the desired template first. You can choose from three different templates and we are going to choose the basic text template for now. Uh, you can see the preview of the template here and click create page. Next step is to set up the page the way you want it to be shown. Click on the title area first and just provide the name you wish. You can also change the image in the title area by clicking on the change image options by the left and you will get a lot of options to choose the right image you want to see. Uh, there are recent images, you can also choose stock images or you can upload it from your computer or choose a link to. You are going to choose an image from the recent upload for now. You can now set the focal point of the image to just to get it right. By default there will be four text web parts presented to the page uh, and there will be two sections. The basic text template you will get uh, two sections with uh, four text web parts as default. You can either go with the same uh, web parts provided or you can just delete both the sections and add, add new sections by clicking on the plus icon to the side. There are different layouts such as one column, two column, three column and vertical, full width section etc. We will go with the two column section for now and just click on the plus icon in the middle of each section and choose the web part you wish. There are a lot of web parts available like uh, text web parts, image web parts, input, link, and there are a lot more. We'll just choose an image for part for now and choose the image you want to be shown and just add an text, any uh, good text. Uh, on the other side we'll just also add a different text. Just click on each web part to edit it further. As you can see, just click on the web part and if you just click on the pen icon at the above, you can change uh, image, link and other different uh, options. And uh, if, you, if you think every everything is set and ready to go publish, you can click on publish. You can also save this page to the draft by clicking on save as draft. Uh, another option you have to consider is the comments option. So just below you can see there is a uh, toggle to turn on and turn off the comments section. So uh, by default it will be on and if you wish to turn it off you can turn it off here and then click on the page details. Here you will see an option to change the thumbnail of the image. So it will be set as, so uh, the title image will be set as thumbnail as default. So if you wish to change the thumbnail and provide a different one, you can choose it from here. You can also give a description for the page here. And then if you find it completely ready to 
go live you can click on publish as soon as you uh, publish the page you will get options to promote the page as well there are different options like add page to navigation uh, post as news on this site email you can email this pay new page to someone or save the template of this page for uh, future creations if you want same kind of pages to be created in the future you can save this template and here is the link to the page you can just copy this address and if you want to put it in a chat or message or email or something or just save it somewhere or bookmark it etc and if you don't want to promote it right away then it's okay you just you can just skip it by clicking on this mark over here and you can come back to the page and click on promote options from the menu any time and choose any of these options that's all for now and if you want to know more just let us know have a good day Thank you.